Did you like your coat? Oh. And this is why I love getting up early in the morning, even though it's not as early as I normally get up. Today it's 7.15 right now, but look how beautiful my view is. Good morning, or shall we say it in Arabic today, it's Sabah al Khairi, I think. That's what I've just learned, especially for you guys. I don't know if that's correct. Why with the mask today? Because I think I forced myself yesterday a little bit too much and I just like for half an hour looking after my favorite baby in the world. Yes, you! While um, my sister and her other half do some stuff in the morning with Stefan. So we are home alone, two of us, but because I don't feel so well, I put a mask on so that I don't get him sick. I'm not really ill, like this is not gonna change anything in terms of us vlogging it's just that i forced myself a little bit too much yesterday in terms of physical strain so that's it but i have a very strong body and i don't normally like take time off i'm just like you know like chilling very comfy and the corner sofa and now gonna do some work on the computer while i look after the little baba and he's watching teletubbies as you can hear in the background I have to say one thing is that I am drinking coffee. By the way, my pajama says Empress Tamara. My sister got it for me for Christmas. What happened? You you think I'm funny? Do you think I look funny? I wanted to say I want to drink coffee. And because I have this, like every time I have to like lift it to drink coffee. Yeah, it's still me. It's still me, sugar pops. <laughs> am I funny? Am I funny? He looks at me like I'm uh, like, who are you? And why do you have this thing on your face? It's still me. Basically, it reminds me of Sex in the City when Samantha, uh, when like the movie too, when Samantha says, imagine a lift for every fry or carry. I, don't, I can't remember who says it. A lift for every fry. That is a major commitment of fried food. Because that's how I feel right now, because I am drinking coffee. Look at this. Is it still me? Do you think it's still me? Do I look a bit funny? It's just so that you don't catch my germs in case that I'm sick, you know? We don't want you to catch the germs. You know? You're my f Did I tell you that you're my favorite person in the world? Are you not quite sure about me? You're not quite sure, right? What about Teletubbies? Are you gonna watch Teletubbies? Vicky? This is what like life should be about every single day because honestly, guys, there's nothing better than you. There's nothing better than babies. Butchie! He loves doing this. Butchie! Ow! We let anybody's negative energy come to our space. Vicky? Ne 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 ne. Do we let anyone's negative energy come to our space? Na 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 na. Vicky, Vicky. Na 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 na. Also, if you speak Arabic, please tell me how bad is my pronunciation of Sabah al Hayri. That is good morning. I think at least. Well, at least that's what Google Translate tells me. But I could have asked some of my Arabic friends. So I had a super hot shower, like so hot that my body turns red a little bit. No. It's calmed down a little bit now, but super hot shower, which is not good for you because you age apparently faster if you have hot showers. So bear that in mind. But had that moisturized my body. I bought the other day in Lush this like little bar. I'll show it to you guys later. It smells divine. It's like a bar, and you kind of like rub it all over your body. And it's really it smells amazing. It's quite like oily-ish, but I'll inform you on how it moisturizes my body. Like so far, I think of all the products. Kiehl's Creme de Corps or Creme de Corp that moisturizes my body the best. I just love that product. I think it's really, really, really good. It just kind of like stays moisturized the longest. I have a little to-do list, so <sighs> have to like arrange 
all the trip stuff for Amsterdam Berlin because I haven't done that last night really all until the end obviously finish the upload of the vlogmas that needs to go live today I have to be vlogging whole day I need to like tidy up a little bit because you know I still haven't unpacked from British Fashion Awards and um, then I need to pack for Amsterdam and create outfit combinations that I want to be wearing there because I'm going two days to Amsterdam then straight to Berlin for two days no three nights in Amsterdam two nights in Berlin so for five nights I will be away and I need to pack for all of that and then you guys I have to unbox a lot of packages because I've received so much stuff and I've ordered some stuff that I wanted to show you so I'm gonna do that for you as well so that's a little overview of today I finished as you can see my nanny duties <laughs> for the morning well not really because I get so distracted by having children at home like well either like a child or children at home because I love children so much that I just want to spend all the time playing with them so like I don't know like you guys know that I'm quite career focused, but I one, one day when I'm a mother, I don't know how much I'm going to be able to work because I just love spending time with children so much. It's really, really bizarre to say that, but I, oh, I love children so much. Anyway, so what I'm going to do now is like start like moving my ass a little bit because I really have to do a lot of work, write an extensive to-do list that I can tackle and start working because this is not on anymore. I've been kind of like procrastinating a little bit for the last two hours, which I don't usually do, but sometimes after a very like um, intense day, I next day am a little bit slower in the morning. I'm not as fast picking on things as usually I am. So... Let's get going. It's not roasting. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. So I'm offering. Okay, I am using currently a diary that I received from my friend Nor, who I'm actually visiting tomorrow in uh, Amsterdam. Um, she just says, hey babe, enjoying you somewhere. So Someday Planner Love Noor little card. She obviously gifted this to me, but it's from her own brand and she's my friend So I just use it for to-do lists and things like that because I find it very useful I've got like, you know what I have to do I have to book flights for Nina and for myself finish unpacking tidy all up then prepare outfits Pay invoices before I leave because I don't want to think about that do my own emails like the burning ones at least and then pack for Amsterdam And my main goal is which you can't really see very well But my main goal I reflected on it and my main goal would be to leave home tidy when I finish packing because when packing and when preparing outfits sometimes I find it a little bit difficult to leave everything tidy and in pristine state but i love when my home is tidy when i come back from a trip so when i come back from berlin i want my home to be so beautiful and tidy and for me to be less work when i'm back and it's easier to unpack then so when it's all tidy it'll be also easy because i will have to immediately unpack and immediately pack for the next trip because i will be back home for one day I will arrive back in the morning and then um, the next morning very early did I scratch my watch? no the next morning very early I will again have to leave to Switzerland so there's still gonna be a lot of traveling this December I tried to be as natural and to kind of like show you really my life without any filter just exactly how it is also a tiny little update obviously the mask is off when I'm not with a baby but I am ill so I'm taking tablets um, and one thing that's really good when you're a pharmacist is that you know what to take like i know a lot of people starting from some in my family hate tablets and never take tablets or people take homeopathy and stuff but you know what it's just really important to know what works for you and for me like when i start feeling a little bit like i'm getting ill i immediately know what to take so it never actually takes off it never gets bad and it's just very easy also um yeah like tomorrow i'm traveling so i really need to be amazing because I don't want to arrive in Amsterdam and then be like in bed for two days because that's waste of money, waste of time, waste of my team's effort, waste of everything. So we are today getting better, aren't we? My hair is a bit of a special story. Make sure to always listen to your body. I think it's the most important thing. Always listen to your body. Make sure to give it rest. The one thing that I know is very hard is like when you have a lot of work and I'm saying like, you know, make sure to take rest. However, I'm like traveling tomorrow, even though like my body's starting to feel weak, but I'm actually enjoying it. You know, like I'm not going to Amsterdam and thinking like, oh my God, like, why am I going? I literally cannot wait to go and see my friend Nora and her daughter. 
Okie dokie, let's not forget to do this. I know you guys get very upset if I forget it, and I try not to. Eight, there we go. Please let it be. Ah, oh my god, it's a Christmas tree ornament. There we go. It says Maison Christian Dior. You can't really see it because my light is so harsh. But this is so nice. And actually, it can even be a keychain. Day number eight. This is something big, very big. Decorte AQ Meliority Intensive Regenerating Multi Cream and Intensive Regenerating Eye Cream. Very nice. I just did some kind of like back end work, um, worked a little bit on um, blog posts that some of them are probably live because now we're doing a blog post every other day, etc. So I've done like quite a bit of back end work, but I wasn't really good at vlogging. But I have all of those boxes you can see there that have arrived and I haven't actually unboxed. So shall we do that for you now? Let's do it. a bit like sneezy let's close the door it's one two three four five what have we got should we start with the smallest one some of these are purchases some of these were sent to me i will as we go be very transparent and clear about what's what by the way i think like half up half down here doesn't suit me what do you guys think? A gift? This brand I have introduced you guys to during Paris Fashion Week September. How am I gonna unbox it? This is a gift from, wow it's so beautifully packaged, from the brand called Marina Raphael. I'll come closer so you can see it. There we go. Young designer who I got introduced to during Paris Fashion Week in September. She's actually from a uh, member of Swarovski family as in actual like family so I saw her the other night at British Fashion Awards and actually my friend Anna was wearing her bag and I was like oh my god the bag is so beautiful and then Marina said hey like look I'll send it to you so she said dear Samara it was an absolute pleasure to see you the other night at British Fashion Awards as usually you look stunning I hope you like and enjoy the bag and I can't wait to see you soon all my love Marina she's honestly like the cutest nicest girl ever i'm just like i love to support her because she's a young designer and i think she's like literally 20 years old and <laughs> um, she's so young and so talented so let's see this i know you guys sometimes tell me like hey tomorrow like it's unrelatable what you're showing but i'm really trying to be more relatable and to still be myself because i'm not gonna go and like buy something i don't like just to be more relatable i don't think it's gonna i'm gonna be happy doing what i'm doing but i'm trying to always find some alternative especially on the blog this is so beautifully packaged because inside of the box there is like um kind of the foam lining you see so that the bag is not damaged this bag is so beautiful you guys and it's something that i actually really really needed in my collection when you see you will understand why so here we go i think it's called jewel box and it says uh crystals from swarovski and inside of the box there is the chain that you wow it's so beautiful look at the chain wait is it gonna focus this is the chain it has these crystals on the sides so stunning i have no words you take the bag which is absolutely beautiful and you attach i have my favorite one that i've got my eye on it's like sort of more from like summer collection which you will see as well soon i'll show it to you guys but this is so beautiful like it's a perfect evening bag it's really really classy ladylike it's also a perfect i would say um red carpet bag look how beautiful so I'm very very happy and very grateful to Marina for gifting me this. Dun, da, da, da. So when you guys see this, it might make sense, it might not make sense, but I think you will understand a little bit better as a person. We got a pair of shoes from Louis Vuitton and actually I wore these shoes already as a sample from the brand. Sometimes people say like, oh, if it's a sample or it was um, lent to you by the PR team, you're more likely to kind of like just advertise it, you're promoting it, you don't like it. Like, no, that's not the case with me ever. Probably in the last six months you have really noticed that sometimes I borrow a piece from the PR team and then I would say like 
as soon as it comes out or a few months later I actually purchase the item with my money with like no discounts or anything what's just really nice is that I actually get a chance to um, experience something like a piece I really want to put my hair up I get to experience something like a piece a bag a pair of shoes to wear them to try them on to kind of like experience them a little bit more which I guess is advantage comparing to before this job but that's also like kind of in my opinion it's not really working is it in my opinion that's the purpose of my job i'm testing things for you and then i'm letting you know if it's worth it or it's not worth it and clearly it was worth it for me because i've decided to purchase a pair of shoes that i have already borrowed twice from louis vuitton and i love them so 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 much that i was like i need to have them the sizes were really really sold out everywhere but eventually when i found them i was like that's it I happen to get them. So, as you could probably imagine, I'm talking about black simple cord shoes from Louis Vuitton. They just say Louis Vuitton on the side. I really love these and for me they're just perfect, very comfortable, very stylish. Can be worn with like black tights now in the winter or can be worn with jeans like etc in the summer. So I really really like them and I'm very happy that these are finally in my collection because they were not easy to get hold of. Obviously I have a package from by far. I also want to open that. I have another I have a lot of things going on here. What's this? Officine Universal Universal Bully Apparis. A personalized moisturizing accessory. It says my name in the front of it. I was not expecting this. Something that I received as a gift um, in a press package it's in like this little pink um i would say this is velvet bag oh my god it's like shiny so it's quite difficult to focus but it says tk custom-made object of desire the balm the mousses reflects who you are you get to choose which letter effect paper will be used to emboss your initial in old-fashioned gilt letters like in a powder compact the precious balm faces a small mirror this is so cute and there's the balm and you know how much I love a lip balm. But it's really moisturizing. It's just that it's a little bit cold because it was outside. I love it. Beautiful. Okay, this is really, really nice gift. Actually, I think this would be a nice gift for Christmas. A personalized lip balm. A really big box over here is from Gucci. From Gucci, I received something really exciting. In here... We have, I would, I would think that this is something to do with Gucci Flora. My sister was wearing the first Gucci Flora, which is so, I don't know, it like really makes me remember so many things, like, and wakes the memories, and I don't know, I used to wear it when I was at university, and I love the fragrance so much, but this is a different one. This is Gucci Bloom Ambrosia di Fiori. This is a new one, because I already have the nude one, but this is the red Gucci uh, Bloom. Let's smell it. Oh, it's very nice. It's a little bit too tuberosey for sure. Uh, yeah, Ambrosia di Fiori is so beautiful. So huge thanks to Gucci, but that's not all that I received. Actually, they were very generous and sent me something else. And that something else came in this little Gucci bag, and I think I know what it is. I've got two lipsticks here. By the way, I checked out Gucci lipsticks already at the beauty hall in Harrods. They have a really beautiful stand. I have two colors, Faye Turquoise and Goldie Red. I wonder if the Turquoise one is actually Turquoise. Considering it's Gucci, I wouldn't be surprised. Oh my god. How spectacular is this lipstick? Please tell me what you think. Let's see the Goldie Red. It's in a beautiful packaging. Wow, it's the same kind of lipstick. Can you see the little Gucci in the front? I'm not sure if it's showing. The light is not the best, but I'm trying. This is incredible. So let's open this box. By far, the Bulgarian It Girl brand. I almost like literally stabbed myself. Did you see that? I love this brand so much because it's like a young brand that is really going amazing. Like Hailey Bieber wears this, Kendall, Bella, they love it. Like everybody loves By Far. And I just love that they are from a small Balkan country. I think Selena Gomez wore this bag and really it's like it's going crazy they asked me what do i like from their current collection and i was like i love this so look at this bag they've kindly sent this to me oh my god this is so amazing it's very similar you guys know i already have one by far bag and in the past i mainly shopped 
um, their shoes, I shop their shoes a lot, I shop like their accessories, but this is stunning. The top is kind of like a satiny material and it magnetically opens and it basically has like a little mouth, okay, and then you just close it as well. You see, there's a magnet, closes. At the bottom here it has little feet and it has little handle. I will insert the picture of Selena Gomez wearing it. I, I, I think she was the one wearing it. Like obviously I'm not really dressed nicely, but look, this is the proportion of the bag. It's very cute. I think I only have one more box to open. I purchased this like last week ago. It's in a very big box, but it comes from the same place. It just came in two different boxes for some reason. And it comes with like all the Louis Vuitton Christmas wrapping, which I think is very nice if you buy a Christmas present for somebody at Louis Vuitton. This I cannot wait to try on. I have never actually had this before, like, to try. So I hope the size is going to be suitable, because if not, it needs to go back. And I really don't know when am I going to be in London um, next time to swap it around. Now guys, are you ready? I never owned these boots from Louis Vuitton before. It's a very classic shape. They are called Laurette Desert Boots. So they are inside like kind of furry and comfortable, shirlingy and comfortable. In the front, obviously like at the bottom they have like a thick rubbery sole and they are fluffy with uh, beige suede, monogram belts and I know that a lot of people like hate these like uh, desert boots or love. It's a basic pair that a lot of people wear, but I am going to mountains in a week. So for me, I think this will be perfect. I'm going to try them on for you so that we can see what they look like on. I also wanted to show you what I got at Vista Village yesterday. You can see a little face over there. And Hi. I got... What did Tetka get you at Vista Village? Um, sham. Can you get up to model it? What did you get, Vicky? I know. Did you get a trench coat from Burberry? Yeah. What did you get? You didn't get a trench coat, you got a coat. Yeah. <laughs> do you like Have yours? You got a coat. Huh? Have you got a coat to show Look, I got the same coat. Come, let's have a look at it. Well, it's not same. Mine is a little bit same as Vicky's. But Sorry about the bass. That come in bass again. Do you know what's the difference? Where are you going, mister? You know what the What's the difference? You have um, a special buttons. We have the, but you have buttons. Can you show me your hood? Oh my god. Put a hood on. You can put a hood on. Wait, Don't brother's worry. going to escape. Don't worry, I'll open him. One question. What? Do you guys like your new coats? No? Yes. He said no and I said yeah. Oh no, he is escaping. He's escaping. Okay, so he said no. He said no. So he's the naughty one. Oh my <laughs> god. I don't think he agrees. Vicky, do you like your coat? He said no. He said no. I think he's telling you like that's not true. <laughs> yes, it is, Vicky. Vicky, is it true? No. Shall we get him to stand up to model the coat? Yeah. Okay, let's get him up. I think he likes his coat. Oh, I don't. He's an old one. Did you like your coat? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. So, Vicky, should I send your coat back to Burberry? Yes. He said yes. Should I send your coat? Oh, don't fall, please, cutie pie. Please, please have my go back. Please have my go back. Okay, now that I've shown you um, all the stuff that I bought, I have all of these boxes to sort out and to clear up. And I just want to show you the boots on because I haven't actually tried them on. So let's try them on together. I have to clear all that mess. I just put this H&M knit on. I have this. This is like trend collection from, I think, years ago, I believe. And the new boots on now. So here they are my new snow boots my owl and you can judge what you think i don't think they're going to be everybody's cup of shoe <laughs> cup of tea because they are very like um i don't know i just think they're very loud and very 
fashion, not not like a classic boot, but you know, it's um, after all, Louis Vuitton is not exactly like the brand which is going for boring and classic. So yeah, this is it. These are the new boots. All I can say is that they're very comfortable, very warm, and I think they will be perfect for snow and they will add a bit of height to me as well. Lol, not that I need height, but you know, today I'm not having the best of days. Uh, just made myself a bowl of pasta with cheese because because I'm not having the best of days. I don't want to complain because it's like a no complaints challenge. However, well, you guys know I'm not feeling my best today, but that's not the reason. It's also like I just realized I was delayed by an hour with today's vlogmas upload, which I do not like. But here's the thing. I am not doing this a week ahead, like probably or like half a month ahead like most people are for me it's like i have to every day upload the video to go live on that day or the next day because there's no other way even though i have like so much help with my team everyone's doing so amazing it's still like a lot to do i'm sure some people prefer being ahead with vlogmas and like publishing the like older videos but i really prefer doing this day in and out because for me it just feels so much nicer because if i show you something on my stories you know that you will be able to see that like right after on my youtube video as well and yeah for me that's really important so i hope you're enjoying that as well i'm curious to hear your thoughts on that because i remember i think a year ago i had a lot of comments on that as well but i've always done it this way i've always done vlogmas this way and that's how i like to do it now i'm gonna have this pasta i still haven't packed I need to get rid of still these boxes here i really need like a little break like a mental break to do something for myself so i might eat this pasta watch something on netflix and then um continue with work just thought while i have you that i should show you these as well i have worn them already um as i said as a sample and i really love them i think they're beautiful i know that like it's obviously very loud the whole Louis Vuitton thing but i i don't know like somehow i think it makes them really cool i love the straight heel at the back and this is what they're like from the front they're not very decollete you know with like toe showing they're very closed now i told you that i have one more uh, package that has arrived today and i wanted to show that to you because i already know what's in there but i just wanted to show that to you so i'm gonna go downstairs for the package and then i think this video is gonna be too long but i have received a lot of requests in my previous vlogmases that you guys would like a wardrobe tour and i did kind of comment that i could do it so let me know if you would like to do it i had like a comment saying like hey we would like a belt collection uh, kind of like showing the jewelry collection organization and um some uh, were saying we would like to see the wardrobe tour let me know if you would like to do that and i will facilitate that in one of the videos when i'm back so that would be actually quite cute i think there are some jobs that i really dislike doing there are not many but just few and they're kind of like on my most hated list one of them are like flattening the boxes and taking them to recycling i always do it though but you know i just wish i could have someone else to do that see how to open this because my address is on it i know what's in here because i chose it it was gifted to me as well by by far i just love the girls really like they're so amazing like i said the ultimate cool girl it girl brand vintage look at this it's like a velvet really fun shaped like 90s shaped bag and it looks like it's b color like if i show it to you like this it looks like the top is pink and this is red because it does but it's not it's all in one color it's just that velvet is so stunning that it's really like an optical game i'm gonna bring this one to amsterdam i think this is so cool so chic so fabulous thank you by far 
you ladies rock my world. Oh, actually, I realized I didn't show you that yesterday I got something at Celine. It's so far somewhere embedded that I'll bring it to Amsterdam and then I'll show it to you there. I just got something from like Phoebe Philo's collection still. I'm kind of like hunting for a few pieces that I still want from her collection because they're still like you're still able to find some but this was something that's been on my wish list for so long and then when it was like 50 percent off i was like uh yes i will take it i had a nap like a one and a half hour nap but i'm so tired i never normally nap you just have to listen to your body if it tells you to sleep then sleep i get victor is crying i'm gonna go and see what's going on because I'm on the lookout at the moment. Sleepy time. Sleepy time. Sleepy time. Okay, it's all good now. He's back asleep. He was asleep, but then he woke up. Sometimes they do that when they're teething or maybe having bad dreams. I always think it's bad dreams. But what could they even dream mad about? You know what I mean? Did the milk run out? I don't know. I find the children's energy so calming and soothing. And it's very easy for me to calm down a crying child, usually your baby. Because I think, okay, like, it's not really nice to talk good about yourself. But I think my best quality in life, or like the thing that I'm most proud of, is that I'm a highly empathic person. So I can... Um, sympathize with pretty much anybody and it's same with babies so I can always try to find a way to soothe them and to calm them down and I love babies so so much love babies anyway I am gonna go have a shower still haven't packed guys and it's past 10 o'clock <sighs> I think it's time to pack now I don't think you're gonna believe me but it is 202 in the morning I never normally say this late anymore i used to but not anymore this is because i had a nap and i never nap so like really don't know why i did that but at least i can say that i have packed here and there need to clean that mess over there a little bit it's from trying on the outfits and i have left my living space in a relatively moderately tidy situation still have to get rid of the boxes which are here and all the rubbish because that gets taken away on friday so i need to make sure that it's done now i think i'm gonna go to bed and sleep for like three hours because i'm gonna get up early in the morning well early like you know my standard like 5 36 um the only thing left to pack are the beauty bags vanity bags i'm not too worried actually about not sleeping much tonight because it's not like i'm working in amsterdam tomorrow i'm going for a leisurely kind of three days with my friends so when i arrive tomorrow and i check in i'll sleep on the plane first of all and then when i arrive tomorrow i'll take it super easy and chill i'm not gonna stress about it at all i'm excited and i'm ready and let's go anyway i want to wish you a good night or good morning i don't even know anymore uh and i will see you in actually just a few hours time Bye, guys.